first set. Play. That's a final score. Chicago Bears 17, Tampa Bay 10. Those of you who've been watching that contest, welcome to the National Tennis Center. We have just gotten underway. This is the first point of the match. over the baseline it wasn't that's wide. what I thought yeah yeah looked like it was about four or five inches over good way to start yeah 15 love oh. match just underway U.S. Open. The last time that was done by a champion was in 1960 by Neil Frazier. Ah! Ah! Connors has only lost one set, and that was to Krishnan in the first round. He led 4 1 in that set, and he lost two, I think. Of the two players, though, uh, I feel that during the tournament, Lendl has had a better preparation than Connors. His quarterfinal match against Villando, although he won in straight sets, was a really tough court match. Every point was a long point. And then his second set in the semifinal against Arias was really tough, too. Whereas Connors, he's been winning his sets much easier. I noticed something happened to Yvonne Lendl. The second ball he hit in the warm up, he broke a string had to go to another racket. Obviously, the one he had in his hand to start with would, would be the one he wanted to play with. So that's a little bit of bad luck. 30-15. Oh! The first game of the first set. The men's singles championship. game of the first set. Oh. That's a fall. Here is strength against strength. The big serve against the good return. Fall. Double fall. Love 15. First game of the match. Then will miss it two forehands. That's his strength. He comes in with a serve, starts out with a double. I think he's a little tense out there. Sure. That'll help settle him down. 15 off. Yesterday, Vaughn had 11 aces and 15 service winners, meaning he just barely get the racket on it. So he's serving beautifully. Very fast. Temperature 95 degrees, humidity 40 percent. The wind at 18 miles an hour, and there is a chance still of thunderstorms, 30 all. Of course, as I mentioned earlier on court, it's considerably warmer than that. It was 107 earlier this afternoon. Great point. Second double fall by Lindell. 30, 40. Maybe that wind of 18 miles an hour is bothering that toss. That one did bring it down quickly. The ball was lo lower than he expected when he hit it. hasn't had to do a lot of running yet but so far I don't see any notice of the toe being any problem do you no I don't 
You know, that's only the sixth time that there is a thermometer again. It's over 100 degrees, just a fraction over. And that's, of course, I'm sure it's hotter on that hard surface down there. It's only the sixth time Leno's lost his serve in this tournament. Well, we saw him play up in Montreal, the Canadian Open, and Lindell just demolished Connors. Three out of the last five matches. This is different. 30 love. Yeah, you like the call. So go wide? Very close. Third call. One foot you call call close. You can you call the ball which is one foot in close? No, I'm going I'm going with the call. It's too close to overrule if it's only one foot. One foot, no, I thought it's the second mistake that they made. He found Lindell the six U.S. Open matches. His first serve percentage 53.2, aces 54. Average match time just over an hour and a half. So he's been very efficient. Wind is tricky down there, Tony. Mm -hmm. I know question about it. You've got 18 miles an hour and you get in a stadium where it gusts, it moves around, it doesn't necessarily go in one direction. It can be very difficult. When the ball's hit hard, it's not so bad because it fights through the wind, but when it's hit more slowly, it can be blown around. You can see the flap at the top. Got a, until their eyesight gets attuned to it, and that, that could cause a little bit of trouble too with the wind. There is that big shadow. Let's see, have shadows at Yankee Stadium, any big stadium. Yep. They're not going to cancel the match. <laughs> Took a hop. Yeah, and break point too. Jim Connors has defeated in his previous four championships. Yeah. It's on grass, and then on hard true, which is slow surface, and then on deco to ah. this surface. Oh. So he's the only man to have won the U.S. Open on three different surfaces, and probably will always have that distinction because, in all likelihood, they won't be moving around again. Ah. Oh. Game, Wendell. Wendell gets his break right back. Connors leads in the first set. Turning well. Third, eight, five. Third ace by Ivan. <laughs> I don't know why. But uh, the electronic device that's used to call the service line just let out. <laughs> Let go with the beep. Do you hear what Lendl said? No. He said, What should I go with a second serve now? <laughs> Four aces by Lendl. 40 love. 40 love. Trying to get even at two. Players anxious came out a little bit before they were supposed to. That's why you missed the first point of this game. Two, two. two all. Tony, the first point of the last game, I know you saw it too, the, you're talking about the, the tape that he has around his toe. 
Certainly got some discomfort on it. Right. He has a shoe cut, too, I believe, to take some of the extra pressure off. That's Mr. and Mrs. Hunter Delatour, the president of the United States Tennis Association. Very popular gentleman. He is certainly one of the nice people you'll ever meet. Is unusually there in that rally, a bit tentative on all his shots. That's 10 straight points that Lendl's won. The time Jimmy was serving had 40 love. Lendl took a long look, but not vocal about an objection, at least. Probably angered himself for not going out to play the ball. psychological play going on there. That was strength to strength. Yeah, and you talked about the top of the show, Nuke, about Jimmy going into Lendl's forehand. Forty fifteen. Two all first and second. Two double faults now by Connors. Last year when Connors went across to Lendl's forehand, got a backhand to forehand rally, Lendl kept going back to Connors' backhand. Feel today that he should be, get smart and not try to hammer it out, just go back down the line to Connors' forehand side. First serve. Get off the two-hander, in other well, words. Well, if they're going cross-court to cross-court, I think Connors has got the better shot. Not by a lot, but he's got it. good length in your rallies when you have this kind of a gusty day. It's just you can't rely on it that much. That wind changes. 30, yeah, he's really thumping that first serve today. Where is he? That's almost six games played and nobody's come into the has come into the net yet. Hit a volley.
score at one all. <laughs> yeah. In those type of rallies. I don't think they can hit the ball any harder than that. Starting to feel sorry for the ball. slow backhand, watch him start forward. He's on his way in already because he suspects that Connors might try a drop volley. A nice little short motion with disguise and place it perfectly down the line. And as you were pointing out yesterday in his match against Arias, a shot he didn't overplay. Right. The secret there is you get your racket ready early with a short motion. Don't take it back very far and wait for your opponent to make his move. If he doesn't move, just go ahead and make your shot. 15 love. Three all. That's a tough shot for Jimmy uh, when you get it when he gets a high ball up on the two hander because he goes under a little bit and has a tendency to float. Win like it is today it'll float a little bit more. Yep. Ah. You can bet that Lendl would have picked that up too on that particular shot that you may find him when he's going across court and his forehand start to take a bit of pace off the ball and get a lot more spin on it to get that high bounce. not that comfortable when he gets pinned into the forehand corner, is he? And when he gets his first serve in, it's pretty awesome, isn't it? Right. Yeah, he's very comfortable. <laughs> Just seems like he's this type of play he's not used to. Serve come back either. That was a total shock, I think, when that ball came back. Diving return by Connors. Oh. 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 Oh.
Sam Lindell has ventured up close to that net. Be three seated players to get here. Mm -hmm. seated number two. Pretty hard not to do that in the U.S. Open. So Joe Dury got to the semis without having played a, mm -hmm. a seated player. Point for Connors. He took Lindell's best three. shot. Here's Diane Sawyer. Quiet, please. He enjoys the game of tennis. He took Lindell's best shot, the first serve, hit it, and then attacked after that. It's got to shake you up a little. He made a good approach shot, too. He got it deep. It was down the middle of the court, so there was no angle. and we've remarked so often on the big points how he puts in the big serve and just wins the point and people haven't been getting it back 15 love <laughs> A shaky forehand return by Lendl. Not much of a stroke at all. Brought Jimmy forward. He took advantage of it. Psychologically, I'm sure, uh, you know, he's hoping to get off to a better start than he did. He lost his first serve to get the break back. And now Connors has a triple set point. Of course, losing the first set doesn't mean you're out of the match by any means. Not at all. Six three. 